All right, Travis Wingate, so uh, it took you guys a while to respond to my second porn video. <laughs> two days. Uh, third, technically, I guess. Or no, two. This is going to be the third. <laughs> and so uh, uh, you guys were probably sleeping in because you had a long week, kids going back to school, getting coronavirus, when I warned you not to send them back to school because they're going to get coronavirus. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm the false prophet, though, because a Mormon said so. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you guys not understand that a prophet is more than just a title? <laughs> you have to actually do the job. You can't just say, I'm a prophet, back off, man. <laughs> I, I mean, it was great as a missionary. We had our little white Bibles with our licenses to rush into hospitals. Back off, doctor, I'm a missionary. <laughs> I'm here to lay on hands. Uh, good times. But, uh, yeah, um, there's a Mormon uh, who thinks I'm the false Christ. Need to repent. I'll read you his comment. Travis Wayne Goodsell, it is clear from your replies, and this is from my old one, he, uh, he uh, didn't bother to go to the pinned link to this channel. He's on the old one, the LDS dates for the return to Independence, Missouri. And again, he's projecting. Ooh. A word that Mormons don't like to hear. They want to be able to accuse without accusal in return. <sighs> dum 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 dum. It is clear from your replies, you are prideful. <laughs> Have you ever read the words of Jesus in the New Testament? <laughs> I am the Son of Man! I am He! I am here! <laughs> I mean, seriously, Mormons? Do you not catch on? Oh, it applies to other people, not to me, as I'm making a false accusation based on this one video that I didn't get all the way through because I've already made up my mind from the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and so I'm self-absorbed <laughs> as I'm warning other people. I'm self-absorbed warning other people. Yeah. Okay. Who has been deceived. I've been deceived. The prophets of the Church of Jesus Christ have deceived me. <laughs> He's true. He's a true prophet. Textrum for you. I bow to you. Do you not see how dumb you become Mormons when you think you're defending the church with your limited intelligence about Mormonism? I mean, dear God, <laughs> I'm ripping this guy apart and I've just gotten to the first sentence. And so now he calls me to repentance. Repent. Repent of following <laughs> deceiving prophets. Okay, done. <laughs> Come unto Christ. Do you even know who your Christ is? Dextrum for? <laughs> That's what I've been trying to teach you Mormons. You don't know the Christ. You think it's Jesus Christ. Like the evangelical Christians of whom you follow and worship. Yes, you do. You don't know evangelicals. They infiltrated Mormonism and have overtaken it with their doctrines. <gasps> oh, no! No! It's not true! Yes, who is your Jesus Christ 
really called Mormons. Pop quiz. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, Sun Amun. What is Sun Amun? What is Sun Amun? Who is he? Where does he come from? Is it just something Joseph Smith made up from Revelation? Or could it be Egyptian, like the Book of Mormon says that it was in? Like Joseph Smith's Book of Abraham, Book of Joseph, Egyptian! Now, you don't know the Christ, Mormons. You have no clue as to who you're looking for. You have no clue that you're supposed to be looking for the Jewish Messiah. The learning of the Jews, not the learning of Constantine Christians. You've been deceived. We've all been deceived. <sighs> and he wants me to follow the prophet. Which prophet? The prophet with no fruit? The prophet of deception? <laughs> There's something for you, random muse. Prophet of deception. I saw your one you did three days ago just now. <laughs> I see you got my clip. <laughs> what you've done here is a is the comment section in the comment section is pinned to the other video which gives you guys an update. Oh wait, no, that's not what he says. It is attack our prophet and one of the apostles. Just one? I've done more in the sequel. <laughs> While well, naming yourself, oh, here it comes. Am I going to be the prophet? Am I going to be God? <laughs> nope. The modern day Samuel Lamanite. Um, why is that a bad thing? Why? Are we not supposed to liken ourselves unto scriptural characters who are good? Examples? Role models? Should I follow Lucifer and the Antichrist? The great and abominable church? Is that what I should do, Mormons? Seriously? This is all he's got. This is the mindset of Mormons when they're dumb. They don't think, wait a minute, what is the consequences of me saying this? Oh. Oops, I'm not going to say it then. <clears throat> to faithful Latter-day Saints, do not follow this man. The Lord will lead his church through the prophet. And how has that prophet led us? Oh, you put your kids back in school and back in church and going to the temple and getting coronavirus and dying. That's what following the prophet's doing. It's an easy no-brainer. The prophets are killing you. I'm trying to save your life. Who would you want to follow? So now I'm going to go look for a nice porn picture to put in here for you.